Welcome guys to the Detail Garage. So today we have this awesome 2014 Dodge Charger RT. It's got some work done to it. It's got some exhaust, some big old 305 Pirelli P0s on the back. And well, we've been getting a lot of questions. How do we take off burnt rubber off of our wheel wells, off of our paint? Well, we are here to answer the question today. So like I said, this has the P0, Pirelli P0s in the back. They're big old 305. They get pretty sticky. Um, I know some of you guys like doing some Hoonigan kind of stuff. So do I. So I did some Hoonigan kind of stuff this morning um, in Mexico because that's not condoned here in the United States. And um, well, we got some burnt rubber here. We got a uh, little bit on the uh, of splatter on the bumper, on the wheel well. Uh, it's all over the inside here. So how are we gonna address it? We're gonna address it with these beautiful chemicals right here. So. What we first want to do is we're going to prep the surface, spray some, some water down. Uh, the reason for that is because the rubber gets, it's really, really gooey. It hardens fairly quickly and becomes really, really hard. So what we don't want to do is scratch any of the paint or anything that, that can get scratched uh, with the rubber. So what we'll do is we'll spray it down with some water, kick off any of that loose uh, rubber that's on there right now. Then we will spray some of our awesome All Clean. Um, it's one of my favorite products to use for this. Uh, when I take it uh, to my car to the drag strip and um, it kind of just loosens everything up. We'll also have various types of brushes here that will assist us in doing all the cleaning and then um, we'll have a brand new bumper and we'll, we'll here after we're done. Uh, we're going to top it off and finish it off with uh, my other favorite product for my wheel wells, it's Bare Bones. So Bare Bones is a protectant. It's gonna uh, not allow any of the burnt rubber, mud, dirt, debris, any you know, road tar or grime, even paint sometimes uh, to stick to the wheel well. It all comes right off, makes life a little bit easier and your car looks a lot better. Cool, so get right into it. Like I said, first we are going to rinse off what we can. And we usually start with the wheels but today we're gonna concentrate on this wheel well here, this back bumper, and some part of the tire in the, the rim as well. Okay, so you, as you can see, the it did knock off any of that loose stuff. It's a lot cleaner, but is it clean? It's not, no, I still got some rubber right in here, some debris down here. So what we're gonna do is we are gonna start with the inside of the wheel well, we're gonna use our all clean, okay? Bring a nice light coat of that. If you get this on your paint, it's okay. It's a very light, almost like a degreaser. It's not a, as intense as a degreaser, but it's, it's, it's a little stronger than your average, uh, average cleaner. So we'll let that sit there and emulsify and do its thing and uh, loosen up any of the, the, the rubber that's on there right now. We're then gonna go to our awesome bucket here in our bucket, we have a little bit, of, about an ounce of Diablo gel, and we're gonna be using our angled, long handled angled super duper brush that Nick loves to use. So what we're gonna do is we'll start in here. And you can see it's, it almost immediately takes all that stuff off. So this is very, very hard. It's uh, not gooey, it's not sticky, it's, it's almost like a, like a rock. So we'll get in there really good. If we need to respray some more onto the brush, onto there, we can do so. Okay, boom. Now, if there's a little bit more of stubborn rubber that doesn't come off or any debris or stuff on the track that's not coming off your car, you can use something a little bit more stiff. So this is our angled brush. It's very, very soft, soft bristle, so it's not gonna scratch, it's not gonna damage anything. Um, it's, it's meant for big, big rims, uh, for trucks. Uh, you can also use for wheel wells, things like that. It makes life a little easier because of the long brush and the angle at the end it makes the stuff easier to get into the, the crevices of the wheel well. I said crevice. That's weird. But anyways, we also have this guy. So this is a more stiff bristled brush. If you uh, can't get that stuff off with the softer one, you can then go up and upgrade to the this guy right here and get in there. And this is all hard plastic. You're not really scrubbing. All you're doing is agitating 
and letting that chemical do most of the work for you. Looks like we're all done with that. Step back a little bit, spray this down. Boom. So as you can see here, I always want to inspect after I've done cleaning, just to verify all that stuff's off. Uh, I don't want to be driving off and have that stuff start coming off and start hitting my car, my car, other cars, friends that are falling behind me or any of that stuff. So I kind of just give it a little check, make sure everything's off. Still got a little bit down here. So what I'm gonna do is I will take my stiffy brush and once again, spray a couple sprays on there couple sprays on there and just let that chemical do most of the work for you scrubbing is not one of my favorite words because whenever you see scrub I'm gonna scrub this it usually insinuates that hey you're gonna be scratching probably or you're doing it really aggressively you're not like I said I'm just working the brush back and forth uh, for it to and then up and down so I'm cross hatching so it's, I'm able to let that chemical penetrate really deep into the uh, plastics, rubber, or anything that's down here and uh, do all the cleaning for me. So I'm not really scrubbing. One, I'm not, you know, killing myself. And two, it's just easier and better for the car. A little fun fact for you guys. This is actually one of Nick's favorite cars. He told me. All right, got that stuff out of there. Let's get some more water in there. Give them one last inspection, make sure we're all good and we're good. So all that rubber came off. Um, it took a little bit uh, of applications, took a, a couple sprays of this and different types of brushes to be able to get that, um, that rubber completely off the paint. Again, what you wanna do is you wanna wait until it hardens if possible, just because if it, you do it while it's gooey, you're gonna do a lot more spreading, you may do a little more damage than you're supposed to. Um, so let it cool, let it harden up, it'll make life a lot easier for you. So what we have next is we're gonna finish up these tires and wheels and then we're gonna finish the car and we'll be done. So this car will be clean and looking good again, just in case somebody wants to do some Hoonigan stuff once again. Anyways, thanks guys. If you like this video, please like, subscribe, and share. And we'll see you guys next time here at the Detail Garage.